<laughs> now, we know that our good friend Johnny Pitts, he loves a bit of adventure. Now, he regularly faces ferocious animals in his series Raw. He also helps people escape from Scorpion Island. So we thought sending him to a balloon festival would be a piece of cake. That wasn't quite the case because it turns out he's afraid of heights. Can you name a mode of transport that could get me to, let's say, the North Pole or Canada or even America, where you don't need to wear a seatbelt, you don't need to get on a plane, you don't need to get a train ticket? It's quite tricky, isn't it? And no, I'm not talking about walking. I'm talking about hot air balloons. Hot air ballooning is about exploration and adventure, so I've come to Bristol to Britain's biggest ballooning event. And all this began with one man and his inspiring idea. Don Cameron is the godfather of British hot air ballooning, and it all started with this, the Bristol Bell. And as you can see, it's a ballooning antique. She's the first modern hot air balloon created in Western Europe, created by Don way back in 1967. How did you get into it? Well, I used to have a proper job, but uh, <laughs> it was with a group of friends at the gliding club. We discussed this new kind of ballooning that had just been invented in the States, and we thought we'd like to build the first balloon in, in Europe because it just has a magic. You're, you're defying gravity in a way that uh, you don't do with aeroplanes. Talk to us about where you've been. I flew the first hot air balloon over the Swiss Alps and um, took a balloon expedition over the Sahara Desert. Can I, can I hop in? Yes, hop in. Am I doing this right? Beautifully, oh, beautifully. Oh. Quite elegant. <laughs> there we are. We're oh. off the ground. This is my first time ever in a hot air balloon, and this is such an incredible feel. It feels like I'm on a magic carpet or something. Mm. So she still flies after all these years. Still flies just, but we wouldn't risk flying her uh, at any height at all. Because she's definitely not, not airworthy. Well, Don's given me the lowdown on his spectacular career, but now it's time to see this amazing festival from above. Just hope I can hitch a ride. Meet Rosie Bailey, a 12-year-old balloonist who has a real head for heights, and each year helps her mum and dad out during the fiesta. Now, Rosie has very kindly offered to give me a bird's eye view of this incredible fiesta in her dad's own hot air balloon. How cool is that? It's just dawning on me, though, that I'm scared of heights, so this is going to be interesting. Right, OK, Rosie. Hello. One minute we were on the floor and the next we're up in the air and you don't even feel a thing. Rosie, why is that? I thought there'd be more sort of turbulence or something. Because, like, when you're standing still, all the air's blowing past you. Yeah. Whereas when you're in the balloon, you're going with it. OK, so that's why it you're not feeling it, because it takes you along, generally. When was the first time that you got in a hot air balloon? When I was 11 months. So not 11 years, 11 months. Yeah. I have to say, I am scared of heights, and if I look down, I still feel a little bit weird, but it's really calm and relaxing, isn't it? Yeah. You should see the, I mean, the views across Bristol are just absolutely outstanding over here. Whenever we go to the city, which I think we should be coming across in a soon, um, you, I always count trampolines. It just happens to be a habit. Oh, well, so I guess because you can. When else could you count trampolines <laughs> apart from when you're in a hot air balloon looking down? <laughs> Who knows where we're going to land, but it's important that we do land because we've still got to get to the highlight of this fiesta. Believe me, you are in for a treat. So with my feet firmly back on the ground, it's time to pack up and get ready for the night glow. So everyone's getting their hot air balloons ready. In a minute, they're going to shoot their flame up and this whole field is just going to turn into a giant rainbow of colour. All these balloons will start to light up as soon as the music kicks in. Right, here we go. The magic is about to happen. <laughs> you know when you're at a concert and everyone puts the mobile phones in the air? This is like an epic version of that. Well, 
I've had an absolutely incredible time. I met the godfather of British hot air ballooning. I met a young ballooning enthusiast, and I just witnessed one of the most incredible sights you could possibly see on a lovely British evening. All that, I didn't even need my passport.